ever wondered how Hermit Lane and Hermit Street got those names, now you know. We drove our Ford Explorer here up to the trail entrance, and now it's time to unravel the mystery of Kelpius. Kelpius was a man who brought a doomsday cult to Philadelphia. We're talking several centuries ago, in the late 1600s, when Philadelphia was the New World. Philadelphia was actually the edge of the wilderness in the New World. And the German pietists felt that made it the ideal location to witness the apocalypse. A perfect place to face God in all his glory. Johann Kelpius and his followers dubbed themselves the Society of the Women of the Wilderness. Which was interesting because it was a celebration group consisting of 40 men. The monks carved out a cave deep in the Wissahickon Gorge off a winding trail now popular with hikers, bikers, and runners. Kelpius was thought to have possibly prayed and studied and performed alchemy experiments trying to turn stones into gold, which would have been very useful. The cult dissolved after Kelpius' death in 1708, but the cave that housed the mystical guru and his followers remains charged with supernatural legend and spooky lore. People have reported getting a chilling feeling in the cave. People have claimed to see apparitions. There's been reports of the sound of chanting coming out of the Hermit's Glen. It seems to hold a lot of energy. The cave is easy to find if you know to look for it and the friends of the Wissahickon welcome explorers. We no one knows what lurks in there. The park closes at sundown. Take a friend. Ooh, go there if you dare. Oh yes, it's been dubbed the lost cave of the Wissahickon.